Oh boy. Oh boy. Today's episode, Hole. One that's been requested and asked a lot. And I just feel like I gotta just do a video about it one time. So people can stop asking, you know? Because I'm gonna get this question a lot going down my career. I've already spoken about it, but today I wanna do a deep dive. And just address it one time. You know, for, for going forward, <clears throat> every time I get this question, I'm just gonna answer it. I'm gonna give them this video link. What is that on your forehead? Tattoo, that's that's the Bitcoin logo. No, it's not B. Just like the dollar sign is not an S. This is not a B. Take a close look at it. That is not a B, just like, just like the dollar sign is not an S. Now, what makes a human being put the B on his face? Is it the Bitcoin boom? Am I going to the moon? Is that why I put it on my head? Wrong, wrong, wrong. Now, some people might heard my music, and you notice I rap about cryptocurrency. I'm open about it. I spoke about, like, because I'm in the genre of scam rap. So it leads people to believe that I ran up my Bitcoin illegally. I did not run it up illegally. I said that multiple times. I said it over and over again. Here's the thing. I'm 24 years old. All right? Now, I've gotten to like Bitcoin, and I, first of all, long live John McAfee. Um, very funny dude. It's crazy that we've lost him. It's sad that we've lost a dude like that, all right? But anyway, nowadays, everybody, when they speak about Bitcoin, they're talking about going to the moon. They're talking about investing in Bitcoin. They're talking about how much do you think Bitcoin will be worth? When I started to like Bitcoin and buy Bitcoin and, and, and join this whole BTC world, it was not about money for me. Money wasn't even on my mind. I was like 17, 16 years old, I remember. Maybe younger. But I remember around that age is when I was first took a liking to it. Yes, I liked it on a dark web. No, I didn't shop on a dark web. But as a nerd, being on the internet, being hip to what the dark web is, it was fascinating. It was fascinating in a sense of giving power back to the people. Satoshi, I believe, should be taught in schools, just like we teach people about Albert Einstein and, and Christopher Columbus. Why are we teaching them about a war criminal? Well, we can be teaching them about someone who I believe, someone who I believe have is, is a genius. There's no, no, nah, there's not even a, it, to say he's a No, he is a genius. He, he is as genius as Albert Einstein is. He deserves to be taught in schools. He discovered or, or, or founded or created a computer science phenomenon. When you, when you sit and really think for a second, really analyze the situation, Bitcoin is a mathematical miracle. I'm what you might call an old school Bitcoiner. Again, why, why did I feel like, why am I so anti-system, anti-establishment? Hey, can you're a criminal? I get that. Uh, you must be a criminal because you were so anti. You have nothing to hide, hide. Let me tell you something. I've said this before. I'll say it again because this is the last time me addressing it. I lost my auntie. I have an aunt. Straight up. My mom's sister. She was a journalist in Sudan. During the time, let me tell you something. Omar Bashir, he was president. This is 24 years old. I was born, he was president. 
just last year he he got taken down and he had taken down because he said I've had enough ruling and killing y'all for twenty years or whatever. No, they had to bring him down a whole a bloody revolution to, to say the least. Way before that bloody revolution, my auntie got popped. Why she get popped? Because she talked too much about him. She was one of the people that tried to liberate her own kind. Her own kind didn't liberate her. Her own kind put her in the dirt. So it's personal for me. When someone sacrifices his life for you, people be like, oh, and I tell people the story, they be like, I'm sorry to hear. Don't be sorry. My auntie died a hero. People like her, see, the real never die. People like her are, are heroes. They are not dead. They're alive and well because every day I remember them and I honor them and I keep their mission alive and I symbolize. Satoshi, to me, is a symbol of sacrifice. Someone who sacrificed his life. See, Let me tell you something. It's obvious governments don't like Bitcoin because they can't control it. Anytime you try to become too powerful outside of the matrix, you're an enemy of the, the matrix. Right or wrong. It pissed me off to see, I don't even know his name, but the dude who made Ethereum. He said that Ethereum is better than Bitcoin. Or he tried to say that. I need to take a breath for this one. Hold on. He tried to say that Ethereum is somehow better than Bitcoin because the owner of it shows his face and this is when my nervous system just started to just, i just started to because you if you watch my rants on tiktok about bitcoin no one yells about it like i do no one cares about it to the degree i do because of the idea the movement not the money now this is this is why this makes me angry come here let me have at you i'll tell you why it makes me angry you know why? You ready? Listen, that guy, the sketchy, anonymous guy, anonymous guy, sketchy, oh my god, sketchy, scary. He is Jesus to you. First of all, if it wasn't for him, there would be no Ethereum. That's one. Two is, instead of you talking smack about him, you should be paying your respect because he died on the cross for you to show your face. If Satoshi Nakamoto had ever showed his face, he would be in a, in a cell. Sin, actually, he would, be, yeah, he would be in a cell. And you know what kind of cell he'd be in? His neighbor in the cell next door would be people like Suyan Jasanj. You know what I'm talking about? The whistleblower. It wasn't until years after Bitcoin came up that the governments realized, oh my God, you really just can't police a piece of code. You can't make it illegal. You can't. You can restrict it and make it hard and KYC and CYC and CBC. And still, you cannot stop it. Because that's a piece of code. It runs independently. Here's a quick history lesson. Pay attention. Listen up, listen close, and listen carefully. Here's what makes Bitcoin so genius. History lesson. No one in the Bitcoin world will ever tell you what I'm about to tell you. Unless it's like a glimpse of a documentary. But I was alive during these days. I was young. But I wasn't young and, young and wild and stupid. I was young and woke. Not like today is liberal woke, literal woke. I could see through the BS. 
before Bitcoin came, it had pre, pre predecessors, pre ancestors. Before Bitcoin, it was a couple of things. It was uh, there's a company called Web Money. Basically, try to be what Bitcoin is. Except, Bitcoin is decentralized. It was the first to be decentralized. A company is not decentralized. It's a company. It's centered. It's centralized. It's a company. There's an office. There's places you can go. Okay, you guys are web money. Okay. So what happened to web money? They got hit with a RICO. Racketeering influence corrupt organization. The same charge that they gave John Gotti. Same charge they gave the gangs, like 6 9 and right now, uh, 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 YSL. Thugger, thugger. Conspiracy charge. Conspiracy to do what? Money laundry and other stuff. Now, I know how these governments play. If Satoshi was to ever come out during like the five years, six years, before the acceptance of Bitcoin, everybody's like, Hi, it's the future. Crypto. Before that, if he ever was to show his face on this planet, he would have been in a cell. That's not, that's if already didn't happen. That's if he's already not whacked. Long live John McAfee. But you idiots don't appreciate it. That's why I'm done doing people favors. Because y'all are ungrateful. A person sacrificed his whole life, potentially his well-being, his freedom, his safety, for you to have a power that they try to take from you back. We live in a world, especially now with the... You see, I made a video on the Me Too movement. People think I'm just a hey, no feminism. I just a uh, guy. Nah. I've seen what these governments can do. They're not, you know, power corrupt. I've told you before. You see how they made it now to where, like, they keep trying to take away your rights and you don't understand it. They're fooling you. They're lying to you. They're telling you, oh, what? So you don't think all women should be believed when they, hear it, when they get the R word? No, I don't think. I think it should be proof. Because now what happened is we live in a world where it is, check it out. So now I don't even need proof, right? Okay. You are a whistleblower, like Suyan Jassant. You're exposing too much truth. How do I get rid of a guy like you? Hmm, I don't know. Well, if I can't get you on a real crime, maybe I can make one up. And they did do that to try to get him during the extradition uh, cat or mouse. They made up a charge that was... Uh, a uh, uh, sexual assault to a girl he wasn't even he never stepped foot in the country where it happened how you how is anyway so now they made it to where me too movement believe all women if they want to get julian they don't even have to julian don't even have to touch the girl the girl just gotta say it and believe all women boom they get julian Hmm, what if Julian is a smart guy and, and, and he keeps his money outside of the Matrix because he knows the Matrix plays dirty games? Well, that's not allowed in our Matrix, is it? That's not allowed, Julian. You want to have money outside of our Matrix? That's not allowed, dude. See, you've seen with China, and I keep talking about China. With China, we were fighting a new war. Not a war with straps. Not the cyber war either. That's different. This happens, but not this case. China's fighting the economic war. Now let's come back to what we were talking about. The Julian example. Now Julian, I want to stop him. We live in a, I've made it to our Me Too era. Anyone can say anything without proof. Lock him up. Um, trying to stop him from doing his thing, freeze his bank account. You see how it works now? You get it? 
If they want you gone, they don't got to come at for you physically. They start coming at you economically. The U.S. government ruined the black community. They put dope in it. They took away the jobs, made it to where the black man couldn't, couldn't. Back then it was like you just get from high school and you just go ahead and boom. You, uh, like you want to be a mechanic, you take that course and boom, you're a mechanic. But now they made it harder to where you got to go to college for it. And then they make college hard to get into. And then they, you know, they, they messed with the thing. On top of that, they put dope in the hood. Recipe, perfect recipe for disaster. Stop walking around sleep. The reason I put this on my head was never about money. I'm not a rich dude. I'm not. I'm still working every day. This is never about money. And as long as you keep joining for money and you lose money, good. You deserve to lose money because you're an idiot. Because you're joining for the hype. You're not joining for the idea. You don't even know what Tatoshi is or who, what it is. Or, or, or the sacrifice. Or you've never seen like... With the pandemic. A lot of people all of a sudden came up and said, uh, uh, a lot of people all of a sudden woke up to the fact that you can run it up off of Bitcoin. So now the whole world, everybody and their mama want to invest and become a crypto investor. I do that too. But I, I study what I go into. Yes, trading is risk. But when you take a risk, there's something called risk management. You take a calculated risk. I know Bitcoin is a limited... This is not financial advice. This is what I would do if I was you. I know there's a limited amount of Bitcoins. Satoshi made it, or I think it's 28 million. Just limited. It's like Dragon Balls. Every day is less, less, less. That's why the value goes up, up, up. You put your money in that, it's going to have value. It might come down. But it's natural. Demand goes up and down. But you stupid idiots investing in, 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 in stupid idiot coins. That pop up coins. Every day they got a new coin. Dogecoin? If you put your money in Dogecoin and you lost it, you did that to yourself, bro. Dogecoin is unlimited amount of it. So it's basically monopoly money. Perfect for pump and dump, where people can manipulate the up and down, the demand, using you know malicious advertising, uh, malicious PR campaigns, yada, yada, yada. Whale games. And it's not, crypto is not regulated by SEC, so it's pretty much legal to do pump and dump on crypto. Ale, what a time to be alive. I don't do that stuff. I'm just highlighting what's, 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 what's the realities that no one really talks about. This, for me, symbolizes the sacrifice that is Satoshi. No one knows what Satoshi looked like. He's like a modern-day Jesus. But when people draw him, in, 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 when artists draw Satoshi in pictures, they draw him with a Bitcoin symbol right there. On his face. Have you seen the drawings? It's always like a face, and then the, it's like a Jesus-y face, like a church kind of guy. And then he got the V right there. It's like a the Bitcoin warrior. That's that's what I like to see myself as. And you know, just like back in the early days, you know, it used to be anonymous. The the movement. It was um, it was an idea, not a person, not a group. Decentralized, kind of like Bitcoin. And they said, it's not, anonymous is not a group of guys in a room. We are all anonymous. We are all Satoshi. Hence this, we are all Satoshi. Satoshi's sacrifice is a noble one, an honorable one. Maybe in today's day and, work, day and age, you guys are just gonna, you know, push the message down. I don't care. Maybe come assassinate me. I don't care. Because 
maybe 100 years from today, 500 years, 1,000 years in the future, this will all be written down in history. This is the house of knowledge, wisdom, evolution, and revolution. Revolution not with straps, revolution of thought. I never cared about money. I just liked the idea that I was like this random anonymous person who can't even show his face, which I told you why he couldn't show his face. Web money, Carter Rico. Rico. Big gold, Carter Rico. The people who try to do what he did before him, it's like the system said, how dare you? How dare you go against this matrix and system that we have put in place that oppresses people, keep them in a, in a loop, keep them NPCs, every day slowly taking back rights from them by lying to their face and they don't even know it. Oh, they. Now we live in the age of information where we have the internet. All info you want is under literally fingertips, on your, under your fingertips. It's a few clicks away from anything you want to learn. But yet, the ignorance is at the highest. So we have the most info and the highest ignorance. Crazy, right? Why is there that disconnect? When you start to look into why there's that disconnect, you start to think like me and realize, oh, wow, they don't really... They really want you to just stay dumb, bro. The dumber you are, the better. The more of an NPC, anyway, man, I'm not here to talk about that. I saw topics for another for another day. I just wanted to explain why why I put this on my head, and I'm proud of it. And you know, people tell me you can get it removed. I don't want to get it removed. All right, I've lost heroes to, to the fight for, for, for speaking up the truth and, and, and the fight for the people. It's honorable cause. If I die educating people, I get assassinated, whacked like um, long live McAfee, and it is what it is. People might say, oh man, Bitcoin is not the best, you know, people keep, I see a conversation about Monero because it's more anonymous. I see. And people keep telling me, like, even even my tattoo artist, shout out to Andrew, the day I got it done, he said, you know, because he, he heard my music. He thought I'm getting it in a sense of, like, oh, scam rap, scammer image, you know, anonymous. Huh? I never got this for, I never was into Bitcoin for anonymity. Again, my, if I, any money I got is not illegal, bro. It's just the image for rap music. But... I understand there's better currencies and there's like Monero is what Bitcoin was supposed to be. I get it. But again, Satoshi was the first. Satoshi gave us the blockchain as well. Like it was like a Bitcoin and a blockchain. It was the first of its kind. So it is the father mother, whatever, is the, 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 the grandpa to all of this. Uh, uh, it, it was the, the straw that broke the camel's back. It was the, the Jesus that died on a cross. It was uh, 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 the Tupac. You know, it was the Chief Keef that opened the door for Old Black and all of them to come up. It is the first to, 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 to do it. You understand what I'm saying? And blockchain technology is revolutionary. It went beyond just Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. If you watch my video on blockchain domains now, this technology can be used for anything, not just Bitcoin. It can be used for Bitcoin, for domains, for uh, uh, let's say you work in a hospital, hospital records. Is Wouldn't it be good? Like, listen, wouldn't it be amazing if you worked in a hospital, human beings lie, cheat, steal, all that. No matter if they tell you that, oh, we were the good guys. I'm a cop. I'm, of course I'm going to tell the truth. He tried to attack me, so I took his life from self-defense. Oh, I'm a politician. Of course I'm going to tell you the truth. 
these guys are criminals. Humans lie to teeth still. No matter if they tell you they're on the good side, bad side, everybody's human. So I don't, I don't trust humans, but I trust mathematics. That's the foundations that Bitcoin stands on. If I work in a hospital, and maybe a doctor, you know, you know, you heard about some doctors in the past who did some sketchy, weirdo behavior, try to poison people, do whatever. But again, since they're the doctor, they're in the position to hide and, 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 and manipulate things. You know, the system is theirs. The nurse might be like, man, this cause of death is a little suspicious. Weird. And she write what she write. But then the boss doctor is over there. It's like, oh my God. The guy I was experimenting on is gone. Oh my gosh, what do I do now? Oh wait, I'm the boss doctor. Ha ha ha. Change it up. If we had a blockchain in place, that stuff is hosted uh, without the ability of like uh, uh, manipulation. You see where, where, where blockchain can be uh, a good thing? And now we live in a time where they're trying to take the decentralization out of it. Never let them do that. They try to put a million things in place. Sleepy Joe came out and said that Bitcoin is a matter of national security. So you've been asleep during this whole time. You woke up to say that? Sleepy Joe, go back to bed. Go back to sleep, bro. National security? If you really want to get down to it, you are a matter of national security. Trying to mass incarcerate your own people for PPP, knowing damn well that it's a lot of poverty and the pandemic hit. And I'm not going to say you guys had a hand in it, but you guys are trying to mass incarcerate your own people and, and, and doing atrocious war crimes overseas to people that, you know, uh, near where I live, or, you know, I, oh, those are not humans. Those are just animals, you know, like a dog. Put them down, right? Don't matter. And when someone like Julian comes up and exposes, or criminal, criminal, I just put a label on people. Wake up. Wake up. I'm not here to change the world, but I might spark something. At least a revolution of thought. That being said, man, done talking, man. Got on my nerves. Stupid statement what, what the Ethereum guy said. If it wasn't for Bitcoin having a uh, got Satoshi having to hide his face, you would never live to see a day where you're able to show yours. Otherwise, you would have Ethereum guy instead of being celebrated and meeting with politicians and world leaders. It could have been a whole different reality if Satoshi doesn't sacrifice himself. The rea he could have been right now in jail for a RICO. They could have said Ethereum facilitates money laundering, which it does. Tornado Cash just got sanctioned. Tornado Cash, if you didn't know, is like... Uh, you remember back in the day, like the early dark web days? And like, let's say like these dark web vendors were getting money on the dark web, but they wanted to end the trace between them and the dark web market. So they would use a, a Bitcoin laundry, a little money laundry, where it's like it mixes up, it's called a mixer really. And it mixes up everybody's crypto together and shoots it out back to like random wallets in different amounts, different times to really just make it, uh, Obfuscate, obfuscate. To make it harder to trace back to who's who. Um, an owner of a mixer also caught a Rico. But Tornado Cash, it was a it was a smart contract. So they just hosted it. I think it was on GitHub, and um, yeah, it was just laundry. Then North Korea came in because North Korea be hacking crypto exchanges. Why do they, why do they hack? Because of sanctions, of course. They're not allowed to trade with the rest of the world. That's why they resort to hacking. They sell math. 
yes, North Korea sells meth and other drugs, really. But they, I think it's known to have the best meth because they don't. They're under sanctions. How are they gonna make their money? Black market and cybercrime. All right, man. Anyway, I've been talking too long, man. All right. It's your boy K, man. Hit the like button. Smash the subscribe button. Leave a comment for the algorithm. Hit the thanks button if you got money to play with. You get a shout out. Documentary still in the works. Watch the last video. Go watch the uh, 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 the blockchain DNS uh, video. It was a uh, exciting one to do. I explained uh, what blockchain DNS is and domains are. And we spoke about an infamous carding site that was closed uh, named Joker Stash. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. It's your boy AK. Peace out.